Welcome to Chilling Chronicles. Today we'll talk about the disappearance of Amelia Earhart. Amelia Earhart was a pioneering aviator and one of the most famous women of the early 20th century. Her disappearance during an attempt to fly around the world in 1937 has been one of the greatest aviation mysteries of all time. In this video, we will explore the circumstances leading up to her disappearance, the theories surrounding it, and the ongoing search for answers. Amelia Earhart was born on July 24, 1897, in Atchison, Kansas. From a young age, she was fascinated by aviation and would often attend air shows with her father. She received her pilot's license in 1921, becoming one of the first women in the United States to do so. Throughout the 1920s and 1930s, she set numerous records for speed and distance, including becoming the first woman to fly solo across the Atlantic Ocean in 1932. In 1937, Earhart embarked on what would be her final and most ambitious flight, a circumnavigation of the globe along the equator. The journey began in Miami, Florida, on June 1st, with her navigator Fred Noonan by her side. They made several stops along the way, including South America, Africa, India, and Australia. On July 2nd, they arrived in Lai, New Guinea, where they would begin the most treacherous leg of the journey, a flight across the Pacific Ocean to Howland Island, a small, uninhabited atoll in the middle of the Pacific. The flight was expected to take about 18 hours, but Earhart and Noonan ran into trouble almost immediately. They encountered heavy cloud cover, making it difficult to navigate. Their radio communication with the U.S. Coast Guard was poor. Despite several attempts to establish contact, they were unable to pinpoint their location or receive guidance from the Coast Guard. As the hours passed, fuel began to run low, and Earhart and Noonan became increasingly desperate. At 7.42 a.m. local time, Earhart sent her final transmission. We are on the line 157-337. We will repeat this message. We will repeat this on 6,210 kilocycles. Wait. It was the last anyone heard from them. A massive search and rescue operation was launched, involving over 60 ships and 9 aircraft, but no trace of Earhart or Noonan was ever found. The official search was called off on July 19, 1937, and Earhart was declared dead on January 5, 1939. The disappearance of Amelia Earhart has remained a mystery for over 80 years, and many theories have been put forth to explain what happened. One popular theory is that they ran out of fuel and crashed into the ocean, but this doesn't explain why no wreckage or debris has ever been found. Others believe they were captured by the Japanese, who were in the midst of an expansionist campaign at the time, and either killed or imprisoned. Some have suggested that they may have crashed on an uninhabited island and survived for a time as castaways. In recent years, several expeditions have been launched to try to solve the mystery. In 2019, the International Group for Historic Aircraft Recovery, TIRE, announced that they had discovered a piece of aluminum on the island of Nikumaroro in the Pacific that they believe may have come from Earhart's plane. They also found evidence of a campsite on the island that they believe may have been used by Earhart and Noonan. Despite these findings, the mystery of Amelia Earhart's disappearance remains unsolved. The story of her life and her final flight continue to captivate people to this day. Thank you for watching today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more chilling chronicles. We'll see you in the next one.